Martin makes his initial appearance in court today following a shots fired incident in Menasha on Saturday night. 26 year old is charged with disorderly conduct, use of a dangerous weapon and misdemeanor bail jumping. In the first alert update, Samantha Kuala joins us live outside the Winnebago County Courthouse with new details about exactly what happened that night. Samantha. Yeah, Bill and Cammie, following two shots fired incidences in Menasha on Saturday night, the suspect 26-year-old Pablo Paramo Villa Gomez was taken into custody at a McDonald's restaurant in Menasha on Racine Street. Now, court documents say witnesses reported seeing an SUV speeding off at the intersection of London Street and Airport Road. Now, police also learned about an earlier incident in which Paramo Villa Gomez allegedly fired shots at people who he accused of being gang members. The complaint says a shell casing was found in his car at the time of the arrest. Today in court, prosecutors asked for a $750 cash bond. The public defender asking for $250 cash or signature bond. Prosecuting attorney Caitlin Gradecki said Paramo Villa Gomez is not only a danger to himself, but a danger to the community. This underlying conduct of random firing is obviously dangerous. Additionally, it appears the defendant has out-of-state connections specifically to Texas, and he also has an out-of-state felony um, record. Uh, he is also believed to be the sub suspect in a similar incident in Calumet County involving very similar dangerous conduct. Now, after that criminal complaint was read by the court commissioner, he decided to side with the state and granted a $1,000 cash bond against Paromo Villa Gomez. And his next court appearance is going to be on August 22nd. Reporting live in Winnebago County, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.